is one document you should read this year, it's this one. Changes to human medicine regulations to support the rollout of COVID vaccines. This was published on the 28th of August, 2020. What was a conspiracy theory only a few months ago is now here in an official government publication and it's time to take precise action and stop this proposal. I'll tell you exactly how to do this at the end of this video. I can announce today that the government has set up a vaccines task force to coordinate the efforts of government, academia and industry towards a single goal to accelerate the development of a coronavirus vaccine. The UK government is seeking to make changes to the human medicine regulations. These changes will support the rollout of a COVID-19 vaccine program in the UK. I will only state facts out of the document, so this video doesn't get fast checked and censored. People need to see this so they know what is coming. There are five points in this document. I urge you to read it for yourselves and think of the subtext as well. Request for temporary authorization of the supply of unlicensed products. This means unlicensed vaccines will be allowed as long as the manufacturer can demonstrate safety and efficiency. Civil liability and immunity. In simple terms, if the vaccine causes injury or death, the manufacturer cannot be sued. The government's argument is this, and I quote, if manufacturers are asked to supply an unlicensed medicine in response to a public health threat, it is unfair to ask them to take responsibility for the consequences of the use of that medicine. Proposed expansion to the workforce eligible to administer vaccinations. Currently, only qualified health professionals can administer prescription drug injections. This law will mean people other than health professionals can administer the injections. This includes local authorities, and to add to that, these people will also be immune from any civil liability. Vaccine Promotion In the UK, there is a prohibition on promoting an unlicensed medicine to the public. The UK government is proposing that this prohibition is disabled to allow advertising the COVID-19 vaccine to the public. Make short-term provisions for the wholesale dealing of COVID-19 vaccines. This is for the entities that do not hold a wholesale license, such as the NHS and the armed forces. This law will allow the movement of the vaccine in the supply chain. If you read the full proposal, you will think it is written by the pharmaceutical companies, not the government. Everything I mentioned so far has been directly from the proposal. If you take no issue with any of these changes, then you can stop watching now. But if you realise what this could mean, and how it fits within their larger plans, then it's time to act. They have kindly given the public the chance to comment on this proposal with a tight deadline of the 18th of September 2020, which gives under 21 days to submit comments. Let's put our voices together and submit a document signed by as many people as possible. We've added a page on our website where you can submit your comments. We will gather it all and submit, along with a petition to Parliament for maximum impact. Meanwhile, research the connections between pharmaceutical corporations and the politicians, and this document will make even more sense. Watch the episode Digital Dictators for more information on this topic. They distract you with scaremongering propaganda, dividing us by race and class, while they sneak these laws through becoming the foundation of our enslavement. Britain seems to be spearheading this campaign, and whatever gets implemented here affects the rest of the world. 
so if you are not in the UK, keep an eye out for what laws are being passed. It's time we pay attention to their every move, study it collectively, and challenge these changes to the law under the pandemic umbrella. We are being robbed of our lives, our dignity, and if we do not act now, these laws continue to pass. When was the last time that you heard of a law passed during a crisis and was then cancelled after the crisis came to an end? Now you can't say that you did not know what is coming. Remember, we are not outnumbered. We are just unorganised.